Hi there, my name is Alicia Dijong and in today's training I want to show you how to insert the Facebook pixel into ClickFunnels landing page or this goes for any landing page system that you actually do use whether it's lead pages, page creator pro, whatever's out there, okay? It's all the principles exactly the same. So I'll just go to my screen now and as you can see I've got my Facebook ads account open. First of all we need to collect our pixel. So this is assuming that you already have your landing page all designed up it's ready to go okay it's two types of pixels that you uh, sorry you've always got one type of pixel but there's two places that you need to put your pixel the first place you need to put your pixel is actually on the landing page itself that the first page that somebody goes and sees and when we go onto this one we just want to put like a view content pixel just the general pixel okay so I'll show you that step first so we go into our ads manager click on pixels brings us to here click on where it says uh the name of your pixel go to setup manually install the code and you just want to collect this so copy code so now i'm just going to go to my click funnels which i have open already Oops. Okay, so in ClickFunnels, you need to edit the page that you want the first pixel to be on. So we're going to do two types of pixels here. One's just going to be the view content, the first landing page. Okay, we go up to settings, and no matter, like I said, no matter what landing page system you're using, it always has to go into the header. Okay, in ClickFunnels, we have one that's go setting tracking code, and this is where you want to paste that pixel. Okay. So we just go uh, paste, right click, paste. I've already got it in there. So we just paste it there and you'll see end Facebook pixel code. Okay, we close out, we save. Now the second place that we wanna put a pixel is we wanna track when someone opts in and we get a lead. So the lead pixel needs to now go over onto the thank you page. So in this particular landing page, we've got a pop-up that's gonna happen so if I go preview, click here to learn more, someone puts in their name and email address, and yes, I want more information. Now the next page in the funnel, I want to have the lead pixel. So that way we can track it when we run a conversion ad in our Facebook ads manager to get a lead. So now this is that page I was just on. Now I want to go to the thank you page. So go thank you page. Edit page. While that's loading, go back to our Facebook account. So we're going to collect the same pixel. So go copy. Back to our thank you page. Settings. Tracking code. Okay, then we put in our tracking our pixel and then you'll see we're down here at space 18. Now we need to go back to our ads manager. We need to go continue and we want to go click here. We want to add the event that we want to track. So we want to track generate a lead or if you were you know tracking a purchase then you could do the purchase. But in this instance, in this example, I'm tracking a lead. So I go to here and I go copy code. Now we go back over to ClickFunnels and back on the tracking code uh, window, we're just gonna paste that lead pixel at the very end, okay? Now we close out, we go save. And that's how we add a view content pixel on our landing page. And then on our thank you page, we put the lead pixel. So when we're running our Facebook conversion ad, we can actually track our leads. And I'll show you a little bit more on that. But before I do, I want to test that the pixel is firing correctly on these pages. So what you can do is you can use the Facebook pixel helper. It is a uh, Chrome extension. So if you don't already have it, you can go to these three dots more tools, extensions, and you want to have, you'll have an option to search, but you want to have 
the Facebook Pixel Helper installed. It's absolutely free. Okay, just in, install it, enable it, and then you'll see it up here in the top corner. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to test our ClickFunnel page or our landing page that the pixels are installed correctly. To do that, we have to collect the URL that we're checking. Copy. We paste it into our browser bar. And then you'll see up here, watch this, this will turn to green. One, two, I have two pixels on there. So I need to go there. One is the page view. Micro data, I have no idea what it is. It's a Facebook thing. Don't get too concerned about that. Page view. And because it's green, it means that it's working. Sometimes it could be yellow, meaning it's not working, or it could also be red. Okay. If you follow the instructions that I've just shown you now, you should have no problem why it should not work. Okay, so that means on this particular page that it's working. So now I want to go and test my thank you page. So I go back to ClickFunnels, click on the thank you page. I want to collect this URL, paste it in my browser. And this time I've got three, okay, and that's because I have the lead pixel installed. So I've got the lead and I've got the page view. So therefore, all of my Facebook pixels are firing and everything is working correctly. And now I'm ready to go and run a conversion ad in Facebook. So I hope you got some value from this training today. And this has really helped you clear up what a Facebook, how to install the Facebook pixel, how to face, do the Facebook lead uh, page, sorry, lead pixel. <laughs> But if you'd like to get some more training off me in regards to Facebook advertising, I'll put below this video is a link to my newsletter. Come and join that and that's where you can keep up to date with the latest and, uh, tips, and tips and tricks and strategies for using Facebook advertising. Okay, I'm Alicia D. Jong and thank you for watching. Bye for now.